Good morning. Today I have The Missing Mitten Mystery by Stephen Kellogg. All right, here we go. Oscar, I lost my other mitten. That makes five mittens this winter. I'm in big trouble. Let's search every place we played today. We'll start at the hill where we rode on Ralph's sled. Here's Ralph's boot, but there's no mitten. Oh boy, the boy lost a boot in the snow. How do you think his foot would be feeling if he lost a boot in the snow? Yeah, he would have one cold foot. Oh boy. I'll look around the castles we built with Ralph and Herbie and Ruth. That was fun. Here's Ralph's other boot. Oh my goodness, he lost both of his boots in the snow. Oh man, Ruth's sock and Herbie's sweater, but no mitten. Those are a lot of important things to lose in the snow. Without a sweater, ooh, you'd be cold too. Oh boy. Oscar, you found it. Whoa, a flying mitten. Boy, I wonder if it's actually his mitten flying through the air. Let's find out. Oh, it's only a little bird. I wonder if he stole my mitten to make a snuggly nest. No, he's too small to carry off with a mitten. But an eagle could do it. You think the eagle stole his mitten? We'll have to keep reading to find out. Maybe an eagle took my mitten to keep his baby's head warm. Do you think my mitten got tired of being a mitten? Maybe it just slipped off my hand and hopped away. There are no mitten tracks, but here are some mouse tracks heading toward the wood pile. Could that mouse be using my mitten for a sleeping bag? Or maybe he'll wear it next Halloween and be a mitten mummy. Let's go see if I dropped my mitten while we were making the snowman to surprise Miss Seltzer. I haven't seen your mitten, Annie, but why don't you look in the garden where you were making snow angels? Hmm. Finding missing mittens is hard work. It would be easier to grow new ones. Let's try planting the other mitten right here in the garden. Next spring, when the snow melts, a little mitten tree might sprout. Is that how you get mittens? You just bury your other mitten and then it grows a mitten tree? <laughs> no. That would be pretty silly, though. Look at that mitten tree sprouting. <gasps> Miss Seltzer and I would take good care of it all summer long. In the fall, we'd pick the ripe mittens. Wow, look at that giant mitten tree with all those mittens on there. There'd be mittens for everybody. Then I'd give mittens on Christmas. And mittens on birthdays. And mittens on Valentine's Day. Oscar, it's getting dark and it's starting to rain. We'll never find that mitten. Come inside, Annie. I made some hot chocolate for us and I've got a biscuit for Oscar. Look, the rain is melting the snowman. But what's that spot on his chest? Gracious, your snowman has a heart. Oh, they made a heart on their snowman. <gasps> My mitten is the heart of the snowman. Oh, so when Annie was making her snowman, she was packing the snow on there, and her mitten must have got right in the snow, and it fell off her hand. And it looks like a heart. Thanks for listening, boys and girls. See you later.